Hey guys, this is Lava Thor, and welcome back to Lava Craft Season 2. Last time we had fought the dragon with Rogue. It was the dragon, the ward, and the wither. And we got the egg here, and it was honestly a blast and also a nightmare all at once. But we managed to do it. Big thanks to Rogue. We got it all done. Um, but this season, this episode, I actually want to try and get the rest of the armor trims. I am missing Dune. And I'm missing Sentry. Those are the two I have to get. Um, I think I'm going to have to expand the borders. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have searched so many outposts and so many desert temples. that I think all the ones that are within range have been searched. Uh, Shad's been helping out. But we're going to try and get some more diamonds. Expand the rest of them. And maybe get Shad to help us out. And get this done so I can get my gear upgraded. Because I am sick of being not upgraded gear. So let's get to it. I was just getting geared up and was going to try and touch base with Shad, but him and Nightmare said before I go and search for any, they want to talk to me about something real quick, uh, something new they got or something. So we're going to touch base with them, see what they got to show me. They're kind of being really cryptic about it. I think they might have stolen something from me. We're going to see what they stole from me and figure out what's going on. And then after that, we're going to go look for armor trims. All right. Uh, so I've done a mild update to myself. Ooh. Oh, did you guys yeah. take some templates? Is that what you took? <laughs> no. Okay. I already pretty much have every uh, trim well, anyway, thought. so that's all right. We've been trading. We look very done. closely at his <laughs> chest plate. <laughs> I don't know. What am I? It's a chest plate. What about it? <laughs> it's not even just the chest plate as well. <laughs> okay, you got another red armor. I've never had another yep. red armor, so you couldn't have stolen it from me. Did you take my right no. chest plate and upgrade it? He's, he's, uh, no, I've already got a razor. Thinking term. too heavily on the steel part. Oh, did you take yeah. a piece of gold? No, <laughs> I got a gold farm now. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's not the armor. <laughs> it's not it's the insane. gold. It's not the template. Yeah. It's n there's nothing else. No. The smithing table? Did you borrow my smithing table? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you guys are just pissing me off. No, this, this is gonna go on this, too long. This is so, this is gotta, so good. You, you just gotta I, gotta, like, I gotta nudge him in the right direction. I mean, yeah, this is going on for Not the long. template, it's not okay. the, the... Nothing has... Okay, nothing has been taken from this island. What other island do I have? <laughs> you take Lava. Shop? Lava. You steal a book? How is it how is it that I expand the border by three stacks of diamond blocks and no one asks me why? It's <laughs> 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 slowly sl slowly turning. I'm watching the cogs turn. <laughs> He still there. thinks you took something from I him. know. <laughs> you took why did you take diamonds from my shops? Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why Lava. Okay. Lava. 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 <laughs> why, why would I exp why would I expand the border up till 12,000 blocks? To Oh, does that sentry? <laughs> is that Sentry? <laughs> Can I have a copy, please? Can I have a copy? Can I have a copy? Can I have a copy? <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> I mean, he got he, he he got it half right. I mean, I think we just made him panic. <laughs> yeah, he he's got it, it half right. Is it Dune? Did you get Dune and Sentry? Did you get both of them? Yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Can I, can I please have a copy? Please! Please! Because I want to complete that be done with it. Can I please have a copy? Okay. Yeah, do okay. you want to tell the... him the extent of what you did? <laughs> wait, wait, okay, wait, so wait, the... wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Shut up, shut up, stop it. Did you... Stop, stop. Quiet, quiet. Did you guys go to the places, take them, and I searched them all, and they're like, because you already took them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's not just that. Um, Lava, you know all those outposts that you went to where the cherry blossom trees and stuff are were? When you expanded the border? 
to go to them? You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know how you didn't find you know how you didn't find anything in them? <laughs> See, I was already waiting looking at the outposts for you to expand the border and I went in them. <laughs> And I pillaged the shit out of them. Why, Shad? Why would you do this to me? I searched like 20 outposts. You know, I have no idea how many outposts I searched. I lost all my gear to that temple. I know. I thought we were friends. I'm like, yeah, Shad's the second person to trust the second most on the server. And he's here plotting against me the whole time. <laughs> I had to get you back for trying to kill me over there. I cannot believe the audacity of those two. Apparently, yeah, Chad's been going through all the outposts, all the desert temples, stealing all of them. But luckily they did trade me some, so I was able to get a dune and a sentry. Now we have all the armor trims. Woo! <laughs> so the next step is to go get some netherite and upgrade our gear. Let's head to the nether, let's grab our gear, and head to the nether, and go ancient debris hunting. Okay, here we're about 2,000 out. I kept going straight, because there was this lava, 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 and we don't want to be digging down the lava. Let's head down further to bedrock level, and we'll start placing and doing stuff when we get down there. Oh, we already found one. Look at that. We're not even trying to get them yet. Oh, two! Diagonal ones. It's pretty good. Two. Uh, we're gonna put these in the ender chest as we go because we'll probably die and lose them and I definitely don't want to lose them <laughs> Oh, we need to get about 40 of them. So I want to try and get like a stack, but we'll see what we can get. Okay That's a good tunnel. Let's place them about two apart. Let's put us a button on them and run for the hills Got more than three, right by some. Well, look at that 29. 29 each of the breed. That's not bad for three stacks. It's about 10 every 10 every stack. It's open for 40, but you know, it is what it is. Let's keep one as like a trophy or whatever. And let's stick the rest in here to cook up. Well guys, 28 gives us enough to make 7 pieces, so I'm thinking helmet, chest plate, let's throw some of this stuff down here. Uh, pants, uh, let's do our silk touch axe, because that's our main axe. Uh, we use our actual axe a lot to like hurt and attack with, and then let me throw some of this stuff away. And then I'm thinking my Actually, I don't, I don't know my shovel. I will upgrade the sword because honestly, I don't really use the sword a whole lot. And my other pickaxe because it's just for fortune. And we'll kind of save those for later. How do we look? Pretty spiffy. Yeah. Now we gotta do the templates. Okay, guys, I just upgraded everything. I picked out the stuff. Let me show you what I got as I circle around. We sort of got a green robe going on. 
and a diamond crown. I really like it. I did diamond crown last season too, but I went for more of a wizard of lava in all of its glory. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Sort of looks like a robe. Kind of like a magician. I think it looks very nice. But what I did was I just did um, <clears throat> the ward with diamond. I did vex with emerald, dune with emerald, and eye with emerald. I think it looks pretty good. It really fits the wizard vibe. Hey guys, I'm sitting here in this dark cave because it's really a zombie spawner. We're going to be setting this thing up as a zombie spawner killing chamber thingy. You know. For, not for an XP farm, because they suck. But we're going to be setting it up for a copper farm eventually. We're going to do it in two stages. The first stage is we're going to be setting up a normal zombie spawner with some decorative blocks. I got some copper here. Make it look pretty and fancy and nice, because I like to build nice things. And then after stage one is all done and we can kill a couple zombies, we're going to expand it out, digging out like a hundred and something blocks in all directions and set it up so it can be a reinforcement. If you guys know about reinforcements, zombie reinforcements are a thing, look it up. And making it so we can get tons of zombies really quickly and kill them all and turn them into drowns for that sweet, sweet copper. Okay, I've just been kind of sitting here uh, twiddling my thumbs basically. Uh, got this all oxidized, got it all done before I move on to the next part. But just kind of chilling, relaxing, watching some anime. While I'm doing that, I've also been oxidizing copper up here. Just letting it, if you do uh, spaces of five between everything, that's the most efficient. Oh, speaking of which, there's one right over here. Let's grab it. Just come over here. Boop, put another one down. I have all this extra copper from building before I got oxidized. As I was digging around, I found a amethyst uh, cluster, a geode. So I've been over here, I mined it out, and I've just been kind of collecting some pieces of it. Uh, it's always fun to have these little crystals. They uh, do great for decorations. So I kind of got a box full of that open. Just right over here and just been shoving them in, collecting them, seeing what I can get. Just get a little of everything. Is there four or five kinds? Yeah, it looks like there's four kinds. Okay. Small, medium, large, and then the main one. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, uh, next thing we need to work on... Hey, that just oxidized. Is to get the little water in and get the little spot that pushes down and get the kill chamber going and that'll be the kind of the first stage done but i think this has turned out pretty nice okay we've done quite a bit of upgrades we got the main room we've abandoned our last rooms let me kind of show you so this is the main like hall i guess if you guys remember the killing chamber not the killing chamber the spawning chamber was just right over here this place we made that we we're going to and I have a little door to go to with some pistons. It's nice to access. Kind of hides it away. I got this upper area I'm still working on where there's a bunch of... There, I found the... Remember the amethyst geode? It was just right here next to it. So we're going to unlock that. We're going to eventually finish the roof and make this thing all pretty nice. But we haven't got there yet because we have run out of copper completely. So, but if we come down here, we have the main kill chamber, which we can look into and see them pop in. So them just come right down into here. Just fall down come on through come in and then there's a little bit of water right there i'll talk about these in just a second but yeah they just um come in sit in the water and turn to drowns a little bit of a problem though is when i hit them they kind of bob up in the water a bit and at night drowns like to swim a lot more so when it becomes nighttime they like to swim up so uh, it's just kind of hard to like kill them real fast but that's okay i mean they don't come in fast enough to do it um, and then we already started testing the reinforcement system a bit there was a bunch of zombies that kept on spawning down here a bunch of them that kept spawning up here where the skeleton is so i made a pathway to that side to kind of collect those and then my old copper field up here remember this big area oh what are these guys doing you guys having a party what are they doing there's like a bunch of them anyways um i made a little tunnel to that too to kind of collect them and pull them in and it's kind of working it's not the best but it works and that's how we uh the little side tunnels are for kill some of these guys real quick but anyways we got storage over here where i've already collected ooh, some copper a lot of rotten flesh i don't know if i'm gonna collect everything i'm such a hoarder and i've just been throwing stuff in here too and then we have our little workstation and i love this like, it's so nice to, like, if I want to pull out shulkers and just kind of put them up here just to kind of work on. It's perfect. These little um, enclove things. So that's what I've been doing there. And then I have a little bed with some decorations right here. 
Again, like I said, the geodes here, I've been just doing a couple pieces of, ooh, copper. A couple pieces of copper as I get them. I haven't been getting a whole lot yet because I haven't really made this any efficient. Anyway, so I'm going to start mining now, and um, once I get more of that done, I'll show you. I'm not going to time lapse or anything just because I'm kind of just doing it here and there. Um, it's the weekend. I'm just kind of like chilling, relaxing. So I'm just going to continue working. Okay, guys, we've made some good progress here. I don't know if it's still effective, but I'm happy with it. Let me kind of show you. You know, I showed you this off before. I closed off the old uh, copper field, but I have this area set up. Let me light it up first. I have a switch here. Okay. Let me come up here now because it's going to be probably dangerous, full of mobs. But we will go out and venture out. Here's my exit path. I got to redesign. But I have this whole field. Oh, yeah, there's tons of mobs out there. We have this whole field. Let's go over here. It is 55 blocks away from the spawner in this side. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide away because I really don't want to blow stuff up since I have lights and stuff here. But to kind of show it off. Anyways, though, so I have this whole field. It's only too high. I'm going to go through and put things to de make it so spiders can't spawn, but I don't really have to look into see if I can make it so skeletons and creepers. I don't think I can, though. But yeah, it's it's pretty wide. It's within enough distance for reinforcements is, is what the big deal is. And I have a whole wire line underneath here to connect them all up. So if I just come over here and flick this switch on... <clears throat> If I flick this switch on, it will go turn all those lights off. Uh, I have the spider spawner still on, but ignore that. But everything else, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that, is just darkness. So this does spawn some stuff, but really not too much because it's pretty close to me. But what this means is I can come over here with like a stone axe or maybe an iron axe. Let me go into F5. And we want to watch this window up here. This window up here is the line that goes down underneath the wire goes down here but also uh monsters will come up here and they can fall right down into it uh, i might need to redesign that a little bit but the point is they're going to come in through here and we're going to watch that window because if if things are coming through that it means uh the reinforcements is working so what i'm gonna do is hit the armor stem with sweeping edge there's no sweeping edge on this which means it should do like less than a heart of damage to these guys and let's go for it. There's one. The first one came through. Two, three, four, five. Okay, they're kind of through now. Six. I just need to get some fresh blood in here is all I think. There's another one. Oh, there's more. Okay. And when they turn into drowns, they reset their ability to have reinforcements because they're a new entity, a whole new creature. So they could have re reinforcement rates the higher, or they could be a leader mob, and then spawn in even more. Uh, this is only one half done, actually less than one half. I now have to clear out, there's spots bottom and north too, I'm going to have to like clear out. And it'll, it'll come in from both sides, and it'll be a lot more effective. So this is just kind of a trial run to see if it's even possible, which I think it is. I'm going to have to get a better, I'm going to have to have like a a sword sit here that's just looting three and nothing else. And then I'm going to have to get like a smite sword that's for killing them. Because this does kill them sometimes. I want to have looting three on it. I think just looting three and mending on breaking would be great. Anyway, so let's test it out. I have my sword. It's just looting three, nothing fancy. I got over 200 in here. Um, let's see how much copper we can get. Still dying. Oh my gosh. Still 50 of them there. Almost gone. Okay. It still says there's like 30, but that's probably outside and stuff. 
Um, anyways, though, it'll take a bit. Oh, I got 25 copper on me. Let's put that away. But yeah, so basically it goes in these filters. These filters go along and um, pop into here, and then it pushes it out from here over this water stream. This thing's set up to only pick up copper, and everything else will hopefully go in the lava. Some of this gets stuck, not a big deal. And then this picks up the copper and shoots it out up to here, and then it just goes right into these chests over here. So hopefully down in this one. But, and then if I have extra stuff, I just throw it here to not deal with it. And that's kind of how I get rid of all my crap. Okay, so far this has been the resting project. I want to do a couple quick tweaks on it, adjust the room, adjust some of the rates, and get this thing to really start piling them out. With reinforcements, everything you're supposed to get just like hundreds of them coming in, and they're really good rates and everything. We just got to tweak it. I've been having a little trouble trying to get some of these rates coming out, but some quick tweaks, and this thing will be really pumping them out. So I'll be see you guys in just a couple minutes. Several months later. Well, I'm back. <laughs> it's been a long while. I've, I honestly just, I'm done with this, this project. It just isn't that effective. I can't get the rates I want. It's a disaster. It's nice, but mining for copper is way faster. So, but let me show some highlights because it does look pretty. I got my box in my workshop area. You can chop them down here. I have gotten, let's see, just some junk in here. Uh, most of the copper I've used up, but you know, we have the little filter system, which I showed you guys already. We've tried tweaking this like 10 times and these things to get reinforcements in, doesn't work. We have our light system, we have a couple of switches to go out. I think this one goes into the spawning room and then this one over here goes out into the reinforcement room. Lights are on right now. Um, but it just doesn't work as intended. We also have a little oxidization room which we decorated. Um, we have the power lines. Let me close this up. But it's just, it's really cool. I like the project, but it's just not effective. It's just easy to go mining. I have a staircase that goes up in that. But whatever the case, uh, I've been a little bit sick, having troubles getting over this bronchitis. It's still affecting me. I just haven't had any motivation to work. And I said, you know what? It's probably this stupid copper thing. Let's just be done with it and move on. Let's not worry about recording or editing or anything. Let's just get on. So I got on and I started just to build something because I love building. And so I built this tunnel here to get us up. And then I built a little tower above the copper and got some bees set up. And I want to show all that off because it, it got me back into building and getting on here. And it's just been a big blast. So I built this tower. It's It looks pretty big, but it really was just concrete and some copper. It wasn't a big deal. So I have this big tower with a bunch of copper parts on the top to give it some look, kind of gives it a fantasy relic style. We did some crystals growing on the outside and a little coral field down here. This is an island. I built the whole island and everything. Just add it all in. Uh, Shad helped me with this little awning part. I had trouble with that, so he helped me with that. And on the inside, we have this little greeting room. And then upstairs, we have some bee modules. Uh, the way these work is it just has an observer that feeds right into a dropper with shears and then it funnels them all into this chest. Ta-da! Um, and then we have another module right here. As you can see, they funnel down to that same chest. And we have a third module right here that also funnels down to that chest as well. I don't know if I'm going to do more. I think uh, that's pretty good. They're not all full. A couple of bees escape because if you open these trap doors, they like to escape during the day. But I mean, we're getting pretty good honeycomb if you saw from that chest. We're getting quite a bit. Um, some of these actually have little back rooms you can go into and fill some of the things back up. Some of them don't, so don't worry about that. But we decorated it all, gave it some feel and love and all that. And yeah, then down below in the basement, this isn't finished all the way yet but I have some honey bottle ones the honey bottle ones are a lot thicker they take up a little bit more work to make sure you have that right fuel for the honey bottles because it has to be level three from a, 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 a thingamajig what are these called comparators a comparator to hit hit it just right to, to activate it but I mean we're getting some got some honey blocks here and some bottles here 
Um, if these lights are on and stay on, I believe that's my system for it. We ran out of bottles or the bottles are glitched out. Because the way this works is these have to be, be have you know enough bottles in each spot. If there's an empty spot it fills, it'll throw a honey bottle in here. If there's no room, it just chucks the bottle out and hopefully it lands in the hopper. Every once in a while I get a bottle that lands out here and it just gets lost. But that's very few and far beyond. But yeah, so that's what I've been working on the past couple days as I'm trying to get back into Minecraft after my long hiatus. So yeah, that's that's where I've been. Um, there's been a few changes on the server. Not a whole big thing, but we had Neon. He had left the server, just got busy with other stuff. So that was a big old bummer. So Shad has claimed his base over here, says it's hid. He's going to be doing something with it, he said. And Chicken has also left too. He had his KFC or Popeyes that looked like a turtle he was working on. So Rogue has claimed that. And then we got a new member. I'm going to probably say it wrong. I think it's Callis, Cali, Cali. I don't remember. But he just joined like yesterday. And so we have a new member there. That's what I've been doing. And uh, this video has been sitting for about three months. And I really want to get it out. So let's just call it there. I'll figure out some cool stuff to do for next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching you guys and make sure to like and subscribe and have some fun.